Lee Ferguson. Consummated tonight. Round one is underway. Khabib Nurmagomedov and El Fukui Tony Ferguson. Two of the greatest lightweights in UFC history are finally having an opportunity to compete. Who is going to set the tipple of this fight? Can Khabib score the first takedown? Can Tony defend? Can Tony get off one of those great slicing elbows that he dominates people with? This is a fight full of questions, and that's why everybody's so excited about it. And they separate. Punches block. Big oh, knee nice lands knee. there. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Nice job keeping busy fighting off of his back. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Then he's out. Ooh, elbow from the bottom lands. That had some zip on it. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Ferguson gets back up again. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Oh! Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. Wow. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Unable to connect Great there. timing on that beautiful takedown. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from his position. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Massive knee lands from the side punch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Again, efforting for the takedown here. Once again, able to get it. So the opponent just not able to put up much resistance thus far. He has not been able to figure out the entries. He has not been able to get ahead on the takedown defense. And that's why he's getting taken down over and over again. All right, rubber guard now, DC. Some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go, go, plata, omo, plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here. But the danger isn't so vast that you should pay. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of omo platas in UFC history. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, 
I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Final seconds of round one. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. What an end to round one. All right, champs, second round now. Your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Tony Ferguson. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow us? Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but can't stop the shot. It'll finally start to exhaust him if he constantly goes up and down, up and down. He's got to split those legs and defend those takedowns before his opponent gets started. Ferguson's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Switching stances here. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Back and forth we go here! Beautiful takedown land. 70 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. With all the accuracy rate, you'll have to take my word for it, DC, but 59% on the connections thus far against Tony Ferguson. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, nice punch there by Nurmago Metal. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Oh, another takedown secured by Nurmago Metal. Nice single. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, tried to take him down with the slam. Not tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Lands with the ground and pound here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is! He got him! Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there.